pump it up and then you're gonna slowly release it and listen. Um, we were going over the cardiovascular system and learning how the heart works and how the blood flows through it and we've now gone over blood pressure and how that is involved with the heart and the cardiovascular system. The students are learning how to use um, the stethoscope and the blood pressure cuff um, and learning how to operate it and how to effectively check for their blood pressure. Um, learning how to take their blood pressure on one another, they uh, understand how everyone's is different and um, understanding an, a high blood pressure or a low blood pressure and which one is um, a good reading for somebody. So we go over um, pulses, the brachial and radial pulse, and um, they're learning how to find that pulse and using it to properly place the blood pressure cuff. And then once they get it on and the stethoscope in their ear, um, they'll place it on that brachial artery for a reading and they will um, focus on the, the gauge and learning how to pump it up and release it slowly to be able to, to hear the, um, the pulse. So learning this in high school, they get a better idea of the hands-on things that they'll learn in college as well. Um, and they'll be at that level where they can take it to an, another level where, um, for example, in sports medicine, they might have to take blood pressure in a, um, a noisy um, stadium and they need to be able to have that experience. So having it in high school before getting into college really um, helps guide them to that point.